Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. We get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. The universal symbol for please leave me alone, asshole. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? They live. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more.
I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed... Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Don't you know that I'll be around to I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. That's the only tourist picture. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here.
Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. So stupid. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Note to Max, it pays to remember names. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. You are ridiculous. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. Leave me alone, Max. But I bet Get a clue. Did. I know the proof is in her room. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Answer, you wuss.